Hi everyone, I'm back after having nearly a week of no home internet access. Ugh. But everything appears to be fixed now, so we can make a really inexpensive and easy project. A 1 12th scale cell phone or mobile phone. We're starting off with a popsicle stick, and we're going to measure it so that the popsicle stick will be 1.2 centimeters long. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it off there. And a list of the materials I'm using in this project will be in the video description, along with links to where you can get them. And there it went. Yeah, I have no idea where that went, so let's try that again. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I recovered one of the pieces, so next we are going to measure it so that it will be six millimeters wide. And your edges may splinter a little like this one here, but that's okay. We're going to be sanding this down anyway. So what I'm going to do next is sand the corners so they will be rounded and then round the sides out too a little bit. So here is the piece of wood after sanding it. You can see I just rounded the sides and the corners down just a little bit. Next I'm going to start painting the phone and I'm going to water down my paint with a drop of extender. You could also use water though. And I'm watering it down in the hopes that that way my brush strokes won't show up as much. We'll see how that works out. Originally I had mixed up some black paint for the phone, but I think I'm going to save that for the screen instead. And then I made a second phone that I'm going to paint silver, and I'm using metallic silver paint. And again I've watered down my paint a little bit. Next I'm going to paint the screen on the phone using black paint, and I'm going to go close to the edges on the sides of the screen, but not quite so far down at the top or the bottom. Then while that paint is drying, I'm going to cut some little tiny ovals that I'm going to use as buttons on the bottom front of the phone and along the sides. Next I'm going to glue the buttons on with a little bit of Mod Podge. And I could have done this before I painted it, but well, <laughs> I just thought to add the buttons. Next I'm going to paint over those buttons I applied earlier, and we'll just have to see how much they actually show up when I'm done. Next I'm going to take a piece of plastic from toy packaging, and I'm going to cut a thin strip. And this is going to form the camera on the back of the phone. So now that I have the strip, I am going to cut it down into a square. Okay, that one's not a square. Let's try again. And then I'm also cutting a really thin strip beside it, so that way it'll be the flash that's next to the camera. Then I'm going to stick the camera lens and the flash on place on the back of the phone with just a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm going to protect the paint with a layer of matte varnish. And after the varnish is dry, the cell phone is done. It turns out that the buttons really don't show up that much, so you could skip that step or just paint them on. And before you go, I have some photos to share from viewers like you who gave one of my previous projects a try. First up is the spider sense effect, made by David and Jessica. You both did a great job. Then, Ty Tucker shared his photo of the phoenix effect he made. Very nice. That effect makes Jean a much more interesting figure to display. If you want to try making those items, check out my playlist of crafting for action figures and other toys for the instructions. And if you give any of my projects a try, I'd love to share your photos too. Just give me a link to your pictures in the comments below, or send them to me on social media and mention that I have your permission to share them. And if this is your first time here, you can hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stay updated for future projects. Have an awesome week, and I'll catch you later.